Hey everyone, Sylvia Perez here, and in today's video, I wanna talk about how you can take over a new Google Ads account. Maybe you just got a new client and they had been running Google Ads campaigns before, or maybe you just started a new position at a company as a paid media manager, and you have to take over the company's Google Ad account. So let's go ahead and get into this video on how you can take over the account so that you can improve performance and not make things worse, which has actually happened to me in my own experience. Let's get right into it. So when it comes to taking over Google Ads accounts, there is a saying that I really like that is extremely relevant, and that is measure twice, cut once. Meaning, when you take over a new Google Ads account, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna do some sort of Google Ads audit, and you want it to be very comprehensive, and doing your due diligence of finding out what's working in the account and what isn't working. So when you do this Google Ads audit, make sure you do a very thorough job. Find out why is the campaigns built the way they are? Why are the ad groups that way? Why did they choose these keywords? What's their strategy here? And really dig deep to find out why this account has been built the way it has been built. That's the first thing you wanna do is you wanna do a very comprehensive audit so that way when you go to implement changes, you actually make things better and not worse because the tendency that people have, and I'm super guilty of this, I made this huge mistake when I was actually just starting out, was you take over an account and you have all these ideas for implementation that you get after doing the audit and you just like pause campaigns that were working but you didn't realize that because you know maybe the conversion tracking wasn't set up properly and then you end up hurting overall performance in the company versus helping it. So you really wanna make sure you measure twice so you can cut once, do a very comprehensive Google Ads audit and find out why things are the way they are. The second thing you wanna do when you take over a Google Ads account is you wanna make sure you implement changes slowly, especially if the Google Ads account is a big one and, you're sp and they're spending a lot of money and they have 50 plus campaigns, you really wanna make sure you're implementing changes slowly. Long story short is when I had just graduated from college, I got a paid media position at a large fitness club here in the US and they had they have fitness gyms all over the United States and I was managing all of their paid media, search, display, video, all the different platforms. And I was managing over $500,000 a month around Black Friday time for them. And when I had just came on board, I made so many changes so quickly to their Google Ads account that it ended up actually hurting overall performance. So for those of you out there who are managing large scale accounts, again, make sure to do your due diligence and then implement changes slowly. That way you don't rock the boat too much and you allow things time to really manifest and to create itself versus making too many changes at, at once and then you know might not be better off for it. For those of you with smaller accounts, this isn't as important because smaller accounts, there's a lot more leeway and flexibility, but for those of you managing large scale accounts, making sure to implement changes slowly is extremely important. And then last but not least, the final thing you can do when it comes to taking over new Google Ads accounts, the one thing you wanna make sure you don't do is delete stuff. In Google Ads, you pretty much never wanna delete anything. You don't wanna delete campaigns, ad groups, keywords, ads, none of it. With Google Ads, when you delete stuff, it's still there in the account. The only downside is, is once you delete something, you can't go back to it, you can't use it again. So the big, big mistake that people make when they take over new accounts, and again, I'm guilty of all this, so everything I'm talking about, unfortunately, I had to learn the hard way, is you delete stuff. And then when you delete stuff, and you realize, oh, wait a second, I wanna use that campaign, but I deleted it, and then you, you wanna use it again, but guess what, now that it's deleted, it's not recoverable. So instead, what you wanna do is you just wanna pause it. Unless you are a thousand percent sure you are never gonna use that thing again, then you can delete it. But if you're not a thousand percent sure, just get in the habit of pausing over deleting. And that's really gonna allow you, so just in the case of, you know, worst case scenario, you did implement changes and it didn't really benefit as much as you'd like, or you realize, hey, wait a second, that campaign was actually doing pretty good, but I paused it and I didn't, I didn't realize it, you could always enable it again. But if you delete it, then it's completely gone. And even Google support won't be able to recover that for you because of it being deleted. So make sure you pause over delete. 
That is it for this video. Just to recap the points, when you take over a new Google Ads account, remember measure twice, cut once. Do that comprehensive Google Ads audit. Find out why things are the way they are and then the potential areas of opportunity. The second thing is you wanna implement changes slowly, especially for those of you managing large scale accounts, 50 plus campaigns, you know, thousands upon thousands of dollars a month in ads. Implement changes slowly. That way you do not rock the boat too much and end up backfiring on you like it did with me in my experience. And then last but not least, the third point is you wanna make sure you pause over delete. Don't delete things unless you are a thousand percent sure you are gonna never use it again. So just get in the habit of pausing over deleting. That is it for this video. I hope you got tremendous value from it. If you can give this video a thumbs up, that'll help me out a ton. And if you're interested in learning my approach and process for launching profitable Google Ad campaigns from scratch and how I do that for clients and you wanna see me launch a campaign for a real client, then I invite you to check out my new course called the Zero to Launch Google Ads Formula and I'll link that in the description box down below. And if you're not already, make sure to join the Google Ads Pro Facebook group to get access to weekly live streams and content outside of my YouTube channel that can really benefit you as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.